squad welcome back uh to my channel it is your girl essence of shay and today's episode of just living we will be talking about singleness um i have been in a season of singleness for about four four years i was in a situationship <laughs> with someone for about two years but apparently that's not considered a relationship so i have been single for four years so in corinthians 7 7 through 9 singleness is a gift i wish that all were as i myself am but each has his own gift from god one of one kind and one of another to the untamed unmarried and to the widows i say that it is good for them to remain single as i am so usually if someone is deemed single especially in my age y'all know i'm in my 30s and i'm sorry for the noise outside they're doing some stuff but um I'm in my 30s and late 30s and people when I, when I say I'm single with no kids people make it seem I either get two reactions one either they're like really sad they ask me what's wrong with me and they make me feel like I've done something wrong to warrant being single um or two I get like yes live it to your fullest uh, this is a time to know yourself and to value yourself and get all your businesses started and all this great stuff going on for you. And I'm just like, y'all, all right. So I wrote down, I have a, a notes because I was thinking about this and I wrote down six um, factors as, why, as to why sing singleness is not a death sentence. Um, marriage is not the, uh, does not have to be the ultimate goal for everybody else. Um, for everybody, I mean, I mean, I want to get married, but just because somebody is single does not mean that their life is over or they're just selfish or whatever this stuff is out there. So number one, singleness is hard. Okay. Singleness is hard. Uncertainty and singleness is just hard, right? Especially when all your other friends and family are in like dope relationships and then you go on Instagram and you see all these people in relationships and you're just like, well, I, I wanna do the um, challenge with, I just, <laughs> right? And, but for me, I've come to terms that singleness has strengthened my faith and my source of identity. Um, because when I'm in a relationship, I give a lot. And a lot of times, things that are important in my life kind of fall to the wayside. And I put all my eggs in one basket, sort of, in a sense, if that makes any sense. And um, I thank God in the beginning. And then I don't pray over my relationship or anything or just nothing you know i mean i kind of just live day by day with this person in hopes that uh we have a long uh commitment and um my identity kind of gets wrapped into them um which is not a good thing so being single for the length of time that i've been single kind of forces me to explore who shay is and kind of understand what who I am and what I like and what I don't like and also also have me a little bit more um, content with my relationship with myself and strengthen my relationship with God because he uh, lets me under he or she um, lets me understand what's more important and what I should focus on so number two is singleness is a time for exploration and pursuit of your passions like i said before when i'm in a relationship i tend to like just just go into it um and so if the person doesn't travel if they don't like trying new things and all that stuff i kind of 
You ever saw that movie with Julia Roberts, which the Runaway Bride, where the guy asked her what kind of eggs she likes, and it was all dependent on the guy that she was with. So if he liked hard boiled eggs, she liked hard. That was her favorite egg. If he liked scrambled, that was her favorite. So it kind of I'm I you know you gotta be honest with yourself, and I was like that. M was like that. Um, if he didn't like doing certain things, I wouldn't, even though I enjoyed doing it, all of a sudden, I just wasn't, I didn't speak up. So in this season, um, it allows me to travel more, which I love doing. It allows me to explore um, what I want to do with my life, uh, which is being a business owner, influencer, um, spreading uh, and sharing self-love and all that stuff. And, um, my passions and everything I kind of can hone into it so that when I do get into a relationship these things do not fall to the wayside because I know what I want and what's important and I already got a routine for myself so you're just gonna be an added on not um, completing the circle in a sense um, number three is singleness provides more room for connection beyond one um this allows me to invest more in my family which is more my family is super important to me and then invest more into my friendships and the ones that um need that time uh when we're in relationships uh we don't try to neglect the people that are in our lives but we get so wrapped up in it that we sometimes uh we let the people that are important to us kind of like become second place and that's not a good thing i know for me i like let's keep it a buck like i do that so the key is to not do that and in this season right i keep saying season but because it's not gonna last because everybody is meant to be with somebody but we'll we'll go down that path but um in this season, I'm inv investing and being more intentional in my relationships as far as friends and family goes and um, honing and making those relationships stronger so that when I am in a relationship again, um, that wouldn't be a problem or obstacle that I need to face. Number four is singleness can allow you to experience the true definition of intimacy so intimacy is more than romance so when i said intimacy i know a lot of y'all is just like oh so y'all you gonna do Issa ray and have your whole faces like you gonna go out there and break your back like that ain't what i like that ain't what i meant so um intimacy is more than romance uh what i was saying before we are designed to be in relationships we're not all meant to be married and we're not meant to be alone. We are designed to be in relationships. So whatever relationships that may be, um, form the intimacy with that. And it's just like finding your people, prioritizing um, around them, being vulnerable, learn how to be vulnerable around them and for yourself. It's more than just sex. So this is what I'm saying. Um, when you're single you are able to focus more on the relationships that do matter and that allows you to form more better bonds and communication and all that stuff so singleness prepares you if you do it right prepares you for a relationship right it's not the worst thing ever i mean yes it can get lonely says um singleness number five is singleness can develop an unconditional confidence okay so being more intentional with your success joyful experiences daily affirmations when single can help you be more confident and resilient strengthen your love for self Yo, I'm dope when I be right. Like when I be writing my thoughts and then I be reading it back, I be like, "Girl, write a book now." But um, singleness for sure can can chip away at your confidence 
And it's because you didn't take that time to understand yourself and value yourself. You put that in other people. So when you become single, is like a knife at your heart you feel what i'm saying so um it can take a while to adjust and be fine with this notion but you have to start loving yourself and taking yourself out on dates and doing things for yourself that makes you happy you i'm not going nowhere but fixing myself up putting on some makeup fixing my hair taking a shower you know what i'm saying it makes me feel good about myself. It's I'm not doing it because I'm with somebody and I want them to be like, oh, girl, you look cute, girl. I know. I'm doing it for me. The confidence is within me. You know what I'm saying? Don't look for it in other people. Focus on yourself. Focus on your business if you have one. Focus on your work if you're trying to get a raise or a promotion. Focus on all these things. Focus on like if you're trying to get healthier, or cooking more, or learning a new trade, something. Focus on that stuff and it will help build your confidence. So when you walk into a relationship, you own it. You know yourself. This person doesn't bring that to you. Come on, come on, sis. And number six is singleness can be a fulfilling lifestyle. Single years have no less potential than married years. I'm gonna say it again. Single years have no less potential than married years. Don't wait for someone to live. I was just saying this. Don't wait to be in a relationship. And I've made this Yo, I'm writing all this stuff because I went through it. You understand what I'm saying? I waited for somebody before I explored life or I did go to my favorite restaurant and I did. I waited for a man to, oh, this is going to fulfill me. I would love to be in a relationship. I would love to be married. I feel like God has a person out there for me to get married to start my family with and all this stuff. The timetable is in his hand. So until he thinks I'm ready for it or my partner is ready for it, I'm going to live my life. And that doesn't mean that I'm going to be out here uh, dipping and diving in dudes. That don't mean that. It means that I'm going to live my life to its fullest because in a blink of an eye, Shay could be gone. And I'm sitting here stressing about some dude and not being with a guy and crying over relationships I see on Instagram. That's crazy. We ain't doing that no more. We ain't doing that no more. Singleness is a lifestyle to embrace, not a lifestyle to run away from. Singleness allows you to cultivate who you are um, when you get into a relationship so you know what you can stand for, what your boundaries are. Hey, we talked about expectations before in the last episode. You understand what I'm saying? So don't make it make people make you feel like being single and having no kid at any age is the worst thing ever or it will never happen for you. Don't do that. Tune those voices out. Focus on the prize, which is you. So a couple of lies that I've heard is that singleness means you're alone. It doesn't. Um, your values are in a role. You put your values in a relationship. You put your values in being with somebody else. Don't do that. Um, marriage equals guaranteed. Child, no. <laughs> guaranteed of what? Because you've seen a lot of relationships out here just, they just fail because people don't set specific boundaries or specific intentions or to learn themselves and they go into a relationship and go into a marriage because they feel like well this is the next step to do so let's just do it like i said before no one's meant to be alone everybody's meant to be in a relationship not necessarily a marriage but a relationship but learn who you are and cultivate yourself first before you get into one and then the last lie is marriage equals happiness i feel like that one you know is a bold-faced lie <laughs> hello um so i hope you guys 
enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe um i hope you continue to uh watch my just living episodes if you have any suggestions or uh topics that you want me to talk about leave it in the comment box below these are kind of quick because i just be talking to myself and to you so if i have somebody else they'll be a little longer but until then it's just me okay tiger lily squad see you later see you. Uh, crash course let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the Porsche? Goofy with.